We're swapping suits and computers for beachwear and backpacks as we embark on a thrilling road trip through Costa Rica's remote South Pacific coast. We'll explore unique sites along the way, experience some hair-raising situations, and learn a costly lesson before the journey's over. Mildly developed and with vast stretches of untouched wilderness, Costa Rica's southern zone captivates nature lovers, adventure enthusiasts, and wellness seekers alike. From the chilly heights of the Talamanca mountain range to the steamy jungle of the Osa Peninsula, this magically biodiverse part of the world offers a feast for the eyes and for the soul. With the laid-back surf town of Dominical as our base over the next few days, Dave and I are flying to Costa Rica's capital city of San Jose before taking a four-hour car journey to our destination. Joining us for part of our two-week adventure are my mother and brother from Eastern Canada. And we've got two units side by side, so half the family in one side, half the family in the other. King bed and pull-out couch in both. Fantastic. Okay, there's an iguana in our swimming pool. Oh, there's one behind you. What? Jeez, you are not funny. <laughs> it's hot in Dominical in March, with daytime temperatures kissing the 30 degrees Celsius mark and humidity levels hovering around 80%. It feels a little bit like being in a steam room. Luckily, we found lots of opportunities to cool off from enjoying a midday siesta to playing in the surf to chasing nearby waterfalls. We even enjoyed some good soaks in Mother Nature's fabulously refreshing rain showers. About a 90 minute drive from the coast in the foothills of Chiripo National Park lies the village of San Gerardo de Rivas. Popular with birders, hikers and nature enthusiasts, the surrounding area offers a slower way of travel for those wishing to disconnect from the hustle and bustle of busy lives. Here we embrace the calm and joyful spirit of Costa Rica's Pura Vida lifestyle by wandering through a bustling farmer's market, exploring the misty cloud forest, and connecting as a family over an authentically local meal. We've been driving up like this into the mountains and the temperature has dropped big time since we were on the coast. We chose to rent a vehicle in Dominical to enjoy a flexible schedule and to have the freedom to explore areas beyond the local transportation network. With so much to see and experience during our vacation, the extra investment provided better value for us in terms of making travel memories. Rural roads can sometimes be obstacle courses and don't expect to get anywhere in a hurry. Oh no, there's way too much mud. Yikes. Back on the coast, around a 30 minute drive south of Dominical, we found a very unique beach and two of the best dining experiences to be had in this part of the country. Apparently this beach is very popular with the locals. It's called Playa Ventanas because it's got windows, which are caves that open up to the ocean and at low tide, you can walk right through the caves, right to the ocean. Even with lifeguards on duty, be mindful of riptides and quickly rising sea levels along the coast or you may find yourself in an unsafe situation. It's easy to build an appetite when you're playing in the water for hours. We found two fabulous restaurants near Ovida that made our taste buds sing. Villa Leonor for fresh grilled seafood and La Cosa de Alejo for the zesty ceviche and creative cocktails. 165 kilometers south of Dominical, nestled in the thick jungle of the Osa Peninsula is Drake Bay, one of the premier ecotourism destinations in the world. With both the Canos Island Biological Reserve and Corcovado National Park nearby, it's easy to appreciate the wonder of nature through rainforest hikes, sea exploration, and dramatic weather performances. After a scenic four hour drive through rural Costa Rica, settling into this charming hilltop bungalow in Drake Bay was quite the treat. How was that crazy ride? Six hours? Almost got stuck in the mud a few times. Oh my goodness, look at that view. Now all we need are margaritas, right? If you enjoy a good exotic fish ballet, the Canyo Island Biological Reserve offers the best underwater theater in the region. Because the island is a protected area, it can only be visited on a day trip with a registered tour operator. I was lucky enough to see giant sea turtles, a pod of dolphins, a shark, and so many species of fish. The experience was absolutely spellbinding. 
174 kilometers south of Dominical, near the border with Panama, we found the quaint coastal village of Pavones. Known for having one of the longest left-breaking waves in the world, surfers from around the globe flock here to enjoy a very different kind of board meeting. Getting to this remote destination may not have been the easiest part of our trip, but the reward was so worth it. As soon as we reached the slow-moving dirt roads that wind through jungle and farmland, any residual stress that we may have had suddenly faded away. At the end of our journey, we were gifted with empty beaches, abundant wildlife, and the ultimate haven to rest and recharge. This is one of our homes for the next three days. We've got a patio. And then the, this is the dining and kitchen areas. Then I'm going to show you the bathroom. This is super cool. Look at this. <laughs> this is so fun. House number two. So Dave and I had a bit of a communication challenge. <laughs> and as a result, we now have two houses in Pavones. This is what happened. Dave and I found this fabulous accommodation in Pavones, which unfortunately was unavailable for all the dates that we needed. So Dave kindly found another great accommodation for us. For some odd reason, I don't know why I did this, but 24 hours later, I decided to go online and look at the availability of the first place that we looked at suddenly it's available and i'm like ah, book. never bothered to check cancellation policies oh wow got an extra bedroom in there we're up in the on the hill the farmland nice sound of cows in the background wow 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 look at this look at how cute that guy is Hey you, with your little face. After enjoying a lazy afternoon at the beach and taking in a stunning sunset, we flipped a coin and settled into our jungle retreat for what we hoped would be a restful night. six o'clock in the morning as you can hear the roosters are just starting to wake up and I got woken up by howler monkeys haven't seen them can only hear them but I am going to go find them the howlers they're so cute I can't believe I walked everywhere today trying to find them and they were right in our backyard oh my goodness the time trouble game the engine started <laughs> Wait, here it goes. Let's get an idle in a minute. Let's get an idle. There it goes. Welcome to my adventure as a YouTuber boyfriend. I'm going to show you all the pain and sorrows I have to deal with dealing with this thing. Oh, come on. You'll get to see me waiting to eat. So, this thing. <laughs> And take pictures of her food. Hang on, left bug. I think my battery just died. But I just want to eat. 